record at 12 and 4, including 8 0 on the road. They're on the road in Chicago. And Anthony Davis, hometowns, he, he was all hopped up on Gibson's carrot cake. Uh, check him out. James and Davis working together. They were bullish. James, the ball into the post, feeds Davis, and Davis dunks it. Take another look here. James has been around the block. I see two guys. That means there's a guy open, and that guy's right there, and that's a high percentage shot. All right. Now, let's go the other way. It's Davis backing down in the post. He's double teamed. There goes LeBron on the pad. Oh. Uh, LeBron will make that every time. Go to the hole. Good things happen. James, the rebound. And it, off the miss right here. And he goes he goes Roman Gabriel to Jack Snow. From way back. The way back machine. Great pass by James. 29-17 after one. Zach Levine is a, is a former uh, slam dunk champion. LeBron James is... LeBron James! He goes the other way. James and Davis, 39 in the first half. The Bulls had 33 in the first half. Davis had 26. It was 63 to 33 at the half. James coming off a season high 34. He only went for 17, 11, and 6 in this one, but it was Davis. It's his hometown. Let him shine. And shine he did. He led all scores with 37 points, 14 of 21. The Lakers unbeaten on the road, 101 90. Team wins versus any um, opponent. Um, and um, that's what it's all about. Stephen A., you buying it? What kind of message was LeBron trying to send last night? Hell no, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. And I think that LeBron stood in front of the cameras last night and lied to the American public and anybody else who was listening. But I'm not knocking him for it. Uh, but I think that, listen, LeBron wouldn't be as great as, as he is if all he thought about was the outcome for the team. Yeah. There, especially in the sport of basketball, there is some individual pride that seeps into the equation where you put dudes on notice. This is who the hell I am. Don't forget. You understand? When LeBron sits up there and goes in for a layup and gets an and one and flexes his muscle, is that about the team? When he sits up there and dunks on somebody and screams at the crowd, is that about the team? When he sits up there and throws a, and drills a three and puts up three fingers or turns around and yeah, maybe when he turned around and turned his back to the shot because he won the bet with Dennis Trader, maybe that was about the team because you having fun. But what I'm saying is. Nobody's accusing him of caring about his individual accolades more than the team. No, he's proven that he's unselfish on that level, and he deserves our respect and deference in that regard. But also, when you're 36 years of age, you're still averaging 24-7-7. Seven and seven. You still a baller. Y'all are number one seed. Y'all are reigning defending champions. Y'all are prohibitive favorites to win the chip. Everybody's looking at Brooklyn and wondering whether it's Brooklyn or Philly or Milwaukee. Who's going to be able to challenge you? Is Kawhi and Paul George going to be able to step up and challenge you and stuff like that? Yes, it's about the team. But it's also about you as an individual. So when he says, I never think about me, I'm only thinking about the team, that's a damn lie. There's no way you can be as great as him. And you never have that intestinal fortitude and that individual pride to put your greatness on display. You don't spend a million and a half dollars on your physique, your body, your conditioning and everything that comes with it to be as great as you can be just for the team to win a championship. No, you want to be the reason or, 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 or primary reason why you win that championship. And I think that individual pride is incredibly admirable. Not only do I respect it, I revere it, and I look at guys like him. It could be anything. It could be you on the elliptical, bro. It could be me on the Peloton or the treadmill. It could be you anywhere, whatever. When you see these guys and you and you hear what they go through in order to be in peak condition, yeah. and then you in that gym and you sweating and all of that, you're like, damn, how do they do it? You know what I'm saying? And it makes you marvel at them even more. So he's lying, but I ain't knocking him for it. It's the right thing to say, and he always knows what right things to say and what right and what wrong things to avoid saying. But that's what it is. Let me tell you what I saw from LeBron, LeBron last night. I and this has been going on all year. He has modified his game again in order to stay on top. And uh, look, he's made three title defenses as best player in the world, and I talk about it. KD won the MVP right in LeBron's prime. I thought, oh, no one, and he deserved it. That was the difference. There were dudes who won the MVP in Jordan's prime because people were just tired of giving Jordan the award. But they were never better than Jordan. But I watched KD. I was like, you know what? He had a better year than LeBron. Maybe he's better than LeBron. Nope. 
Playoffs came around. Nope, he's not. Same thing happened with Steph. Same thing happened with Kawhi because LeBron was hurt. I got fooled at least a couple of those times. And then by the end, when, all, when the dust settled, LeBron was left standing. And he's done it by changing his game as he's gotten older. Miami, he was at his physical best, right? A brilliant offensive player, shooting the three, the whole thing, complete player, and a great intense defensive player all year. And as he got older in Cleveland, he realized, I can't play that level defense all the time and do what I do on the off. He took his foot off the gas so he could win championships and compete in the playoffs. And now what I saw last couple of years, Stephen A., is AD challenging him to play defense, and he has. The Lakers are a top five efficiency defensive and offensive team. LeBron plays defense again, even in the regular season. And offensively, in order to do all that, he's shooting the three more often and better than ever before. He's shooting six, seven threes a game, and he's hitting them 37, 38, maybe 40% of the time after last night. 39 points. He grinded up to 40. That's 40. 40% 40% of the time shooting six, seven threes a game. I mean, th- he's doing the thing Giannis hasn't been able to do yet. Giannis needs to shoot the three better, and he's incrementally getting better to his credit, but not good enough. Mm-hmm. LeBron is making the very adjustment that Giannis has to do, and he's doing it in order to be the best player in the world Giannis. still. He sent that message again last night. What I tried to educate you about, Max Gusman, if you look at how he plays, see, LeBron has, even though LeBron is incredibly powerful, He's always had a finesse game because he's always been pretty much a perimeter player who's capable of using his physique, his muscle, his muscles, et cetera, and really making things happen. But that's not his game. Giannis is entirely the opposite. Giannis is a dude, even though he was real thin and he's put on 57 pounds of muscle, at least as of last year from the time he came into the league, the bottom line is he plays a power game. That's who he is. So him stepping out on the perimeter and making that adjustment is not as natural of a transition for him as it was as it is for LeBron. LeBron is not a transition for LeBron. This is just a part yeah. But one thing he's about how to shoot, Giannis but is he's a, been on a wing. Look, that's not who Giannis is. Giannis is a big. And my point, and, and what, Le, and and he really is a big. He needs another guy as good as him who's not a big to succeed as almost every big ever needed. That's not LeBron. But Giannis is now shooting five threes a game, hitting 31% of the time, which is the most he's ever shot it and at the best clip. Mm -hmm. He's making the improvement incrementally that LeBron has already made. And and, and the fact that you, the, the fact is the NBA needs an MVP award for the entire season. It's ridiculous to have regular season, finals, and nothing in between. Max is wrong. Max is wrong. No, you need an MVP for everything. No, no, no. The regular season needs to be separate from the postseason because the regular season needs to matter to some degree when you're charging a paying customer to watch 82 games a year, or in this case, 72 for the season. It doesn't matter. You're seated in the playoffs. I'm just saying that's number one. Number two, and more importantly, just remember something. When you talk about Giannis, don't just look at the numbers. That's analytically speaking. You're looking at the number. Look at the actual game. Giannis, in the flow of a game, those shots don't come yeah. naturally to him. They come naturally. He has to, to be LeBron. more wide open he's than LeBron. He's not going to get it he's himself the same way. He's but he's, Because he's a big, he's not exactly. a perimeter player. That's why I said there are limitations. He, he's a very versatile big. He's yes. not a wing. Yes. LeBron is now I'm glad six. you finally learned. All right, he's 16 <laughs> and 5, LeBron career. You got four championships on your resume. Three came with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Right now, they're the prohibitive favorites. Uh, Do you think, A, they deserve to be the favorites in light of what we've seen assembled in Brooklyn? And, B, do you see anybody out West challenging the Lakers this season? Uh, I think they do deserve to be the favorites because they're the champs. You have to knock off the champs. Anybody in the West, mm, Denver, uh, Mick. Look, it's a lot of competitive Clippers? teams out there. Let me finish. It's a lot of competitive teams out there, but I don't think it's a team that can beat them in the seven-game series. A lot of what teams about the Clippers? What about problems. Kawhi? Bro, we said that last year. We said that last year. So, you know, until the Clippers beat them, you know, it, it's just still the, you know, the same old talk. And I get tired of watching you talk the same old talk. That's why I like – that's like when you talk, I put it on mute. I love hearing Molly and Max talk. <laughs> Well, they speak real facts, unlike you. You just be, ah, 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 ah. I put it on mute, and then when the intelligent, smooth like brother that. of Max okay, Kellerman. Okay, 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 okay. He know, you know what's coming, because I'm watching you on TNT. You know what's coming. I, I, I'm going to get you for that. I'm going to get you for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you. Watch. You, you know I am. Well, as usual, Shaq has a lot of very smart things to say. He's, he's being too kind. Shaq, yes. Shaq, lying. when I look out west, there are two teams that are interesting to me this year that maybe aren't getting as much press as some of the others. 
Oilers, Dallas and Phoenix. What are your thoughts about their chances this year, Dallas and Phoenix? Very young. They should they should go pretty far in the playoffs, but I don't think they have enough to uh, uh, beat 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 the Lakers. You know, the team that scares me if if they're on full throttle, no mistakes, everybody's healthy. I'm always scared of Portland because I think uh, CJ and Dame. I think they're the best backcourt in basketball right now. Those two, especially when they go going and they're, they're shooting at a high rate. Uh, Clippers also scare me, but look, I need everybody to play at a high level. I want to see that. I want to see that Indiana Pacers, Paul George, the aggressive Paul George, mm-hmm. going through the hole, dunking, stepping out, shooting threes. I don't like seeing Paul when he goes up and down. I want to see the Indiana Pacers, Paul, and Paul's been playing great. So I'm not going to jump on my guy Paul, but you know, if Paul could play at a high level with Kawhi playing at a high level, then yes, they can challenge the Lakers. Shaq, talk to me about Novex Biotech. What's the deal? Well, I wanted to be sexy like your husband. So, you know, I uh, was filling with thoughts as I tried everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, listen, your husband is beautiful. He's sexy. I know he has a six pack. I said, you know what? I'm looking like Charles Barkley now. My my, my belly is hanging over my, my belt line. So when I tried Novex GF9, I got more active. I was sleeping through the night and I have energy. And yes, Stephen A. Smith, I have a six pack. I'll send you a text right now. I'll send you a text right now, Stephen A. Smith. I'll deal with you later. Say I'm, not gonna even, I'm not going to say what I want to say. say. I'm not going to say what I want to say. You know damn right well now. you don't have no six pack. See? See? Okay. Here's my phone. Oh, Lord. You haven't tried Novex Biotech, Stephen A. He don't, listen. No, I, I'm, listen I'm, I'm, unless, unless, he lost, unless he lost about 30 pounds in two days. I did. I did. I did. When Shaq started taking Two Novex days. Biotech, he was 6'1". Oh, God. I got it. Stephen I, I got it. I got check it. He did send it to He said yeah, it to yeah, you. I don't even want to see it. It's just ridiculous. All right, yeah, president ahead. of the go Big ahead. Man show Alliance. Him. Oh, my what goodness. What did he send you? Let's see it. No, no, no. I ain't showing it. Show What? Go ahead. Show it. Yeah. Y'all can't see this. Y'all can't see this. Go to the Oh, is that a bathroom selfie? He's sitting there with a six. Yes, he's, he's trying to say it's a six yes, pack. He's trying is. to say it's a six pack. He just sent it to me. That's not him. Get out of here. <laughs> what you mean? Listen, that's Bali. That's me. You know, I'm you know, telling you right now. He took this a year ago. He took this a year or two ago. When he did, he, when he did he take it. that? When he you saved were in the it. finals? He saved it in his library. Oh, oh he just sent it to me. I'm buying that. I'm telling you about his looks. Shaq, I want to see the date on that photo. That was in the archive. Oh, my goodness. All right. Shaq, I'm told you got to go. Always a good time. I knew you'd bring me a smile right. and a laugh. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. Lose some right, damn weight. Oh, my God. Shaq, right, hey, he can do what he wants. You see the picture? You see the picture? It's it two December years 15th. old. It's two years no, old. Look at it. It's look two at years it. old. December 15th, Look at that background. Please. Shaq, you got to hold